X-Particles has a new intersections feature which allows you to create non-intersecting trails on networks, branching and growth systems. In this scene we have these particles being manipulated by an XP network modifier. Those particles are drawing trails. We're getting this nice grid but of course the particles are intersecting those trails. So now we can avoid this with the new intersections mode. Let's go to the XP network modifier, to the intersection tab and we can now check for intersections. We need to drag in the trail the particles are drawing and then we need to select an on intersection function. Let's pick a change direction. So now what will happen is when those intersections are about to take place, it'll be detected and the particles will be forced to change direction. The result is this fantastic looking grid system. And if we dolly in, we can see that we don't have any intersecting particles and trails. We can go one step further as well. We can layer up these on intersection functions. So let's choose a trigger action as well as our change direction. The trigger action we'll use is to control a spawning action. And now on those intersection detection points, we have spawned particles with new trails. The new trails, however, are intersecting. So let's drag in the new trail spawn into our intersection detection window, hit play, and now we have this fantastic self-generating non-intersecting grid system. There's also an intersections option in the new XP branch modifier. Here we have a nice organic branching system set up, but the detail is lost somewhat because all of our particles and trails are intersecting. So let's go to our XP branch. We'll go to the new intersection tab. This works in exactly the same way. Let's set up a freeze on intersection this time. Hit play. And now we have a really nice detailed, organic, intricate branching system with no intersections. We can also use the new intersection detection in the XP avoid modifier. Here we have a spawning setup which is creating this natural organic growth system. Let's go to our XP avoid and we will add an on detection freeze function. This means the particles will freeze when they intersect with the trails, creating these separated feathers. We can also use splines and scene objects. Let's activate this circle spline. Make sure it is an object in the intersection detection window. Hit play and we will get that freezing motion of the particles around the circle spline. We can also use scene objects like this parametric cube. Let's hit play and now we're getting the freeze on the trail intersection, the spline intersection and on the geometry intersection. The brand new intersection detection in X-Particles.